Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are solving for analysis of a cooking spatula. We will see how much load it can take and what will be the factor of safety for it. If you use a material wherein you have the alternating stress value in it, then you can do the fatigue analysis as well. For example, if you have a spatula made of structural steel, but suppose if I use a material like stainless steel, then it will be difficult for me to find. So let's see how the analysis can be done. We'll first go to static structural and double click on it. I will first go to geometry, right click, import geometry, browse. So here is my spatula. I'll directly import the geometry that I've created. Now I'll go to engineering data first and then we'll go to model. We will just discuss in short about it. Suppose if I talk about structural steel, you can see there is an alternating stress over here. So this will help me calculate fatigue. If I have to calculate, I can calculate using this value. But if you talk about stainless steel, Let's go to engineering data sources, general materials. You will find stainless steel here. You can add it. And you can come back to engineering data sources. Here you can see stainless steel. Now here you will see that there is no alternating stress value because of which I cannot calculate fatigue by using stainless steel. But I can use structural steel for calculating because this value of alternating stress is there. Now let's see if there is any other material that we can use. Let's talk about aluminium alloy. So here again we have the alternating stress. So this is in semi log form. And let's cut. This will be in Pascal's only. So this is one material we have. So let's see if I can use these materials and calculate. I'll go back to my project update project now i'll go to model and double click on it Okay, this is a spatula. I'll first go to mesh and change the sizing and relevant center to fine and update. So my meshing is done. Now I will go to analysis setting. I need to fix up this end and I need to apply some load from here. That's how you use the spatula. What we are doing is we are just trying to see what would be the factor of safety of this spatula we would also try to see if we can calculate the fatigue analysis for this spatula. So we can know as to how many cycles or say how many flips you can do for a particular patis or a burger by using this kind of a spatula. I'll go to analysis settings. I will select this part and fix it up. So I'll go to static structural insert fix support. Now I need to give the geometry. So I'll use the control button between the selection of these faces. Okay, so I've selected this. I'll apply. This is my fixed end. Now I'll be applying some load from here. So I'll write insert force on this surface, apply, vector will be changed to component. Now you can see this direction is x, so in the x direction towards the spatula, let me say I'll apply 100 Newton force. Now I'll go to solution 
insert deformation total i will insert stress tool max shear stress here you can see the factor of safety but this would be for a static load it will not be for an alternating value i can also insert stress equivalent so i can see these results now this part is currently in structural steel format which is not possible we don't use structural steel for spatula what we use is stainless steel so let me say that these two parts are made of stainless steel now since stainless steel does not have alternating stress value i cannot use fatigue option so the static load is what i can calculate coming on this body and what would be the reaction what would be the stress generated on this body is what we can analyze So you can see here, this is the deformation. You can animate and see the result. 2.7 mm will be the displacement on this end. This end is fixed. You can see the factor of safety is 1.0146, which means that your spatula will be completely safe under this loading and it will work fine till you use it. It will not fail. When I talk about equivalent stress, this is the equivalent stress which is generated on this body, 188 megapascal. Now since I have used stainless steel, the maximum stress on this body can be checked from engineering data. For stainless steel, your ultimate tensile strength is here. Let me see in megapascal, it is 586. And here the value obtained is 188, which means it is quite less as compared to the maximum value, which means your spatula is absolutely safe to use till you wish to use it. Now, let's talk about another material that is aluminum alloy. Let's check if we can get a fatigue value here. So, let me say this part one is made of aluminum alloy and so is the second one. Now let me try to insert fatigue tool. I want to see the life and I also want to see the safety factor. Let's see if I get the solution. This works with aluminium alloy. So I'll just go back to fatigue tool and I'll just change here. I want to use Goodman theory. You can use any other theory as well. And this is of fully reversed type. If you want, you can change it to zero based because generally when you're using a spatula, you don't have a reversible kind of a loading. It has a zero to max value. So I'll go for zero based. You can see here there is no change because this much portion is for static loading. That is you apply the load and it is there. Fatigue means you apply the load, remove it, apply the load, remove it. And this continues. So let's see if we can do the Fatigue analysis for the spatula using aluminium alloy. So here I can see the life. This shows the minimum number of cycles for which you can use the spatula. And here you can see the safety factor. It is less than 1 which indicates that there will be failure but not immediately after these number of cycles that you have used it for. And this is a factor of safety 1.33 using aluminium alloy. This is your total deformation for aluminium alloy and this is the equivalent stress which is generated for this material. It is quite less as compared to, we will just check for aluminium alloy, the ultimate tensile strength over here is 310 and in the solution the value is 185 so it is quite less. So your spatula will work fine till the number of cycles that we have decided for that and after that it will rupture and break so this is how you can do a fatigue analysis for a spatula you can find out the life of the spatula with this i end the session if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you